So supplements, uh, like diet, you know, finding uh, the right supplements to take has always been a work in progress as, as well. Um, you know, I've taken everything from vitamin D, of course, um, to probiotics, to fish oil, slash omega-3, um, biotin, Nervive, uh, vitamin B12. Um, and currently, I'm regularly taking uh, a daily gummy multivitamin and magnesium. Um, you know, I, I seem to go through phases trying to notice if anything is, is having an effect on, on how I feel and uh, cutting out things that didn't. So I, um, yeah, just, just try on error. I have been pretty good about keeping up with vitamin D, though. And at first, it, it definitely, I, I felt it was helpful. I think when I was more able and, and walking and things. Um, you know, I take 50,000 I use just once a week, so I don't have to add yet another pill to the daily um, uh, regimen. So um, take that once a week and you, you are getting pl plenty. Um, and, but I will say I don't really feel the energy or you know, whatever boost um, from that that I, I once did as well. And, you know, again, there have been recent studies that say maybe vitamin D isn't as necessary. So there's all sorts of literature and studies and everything out there. But um, I'm going to stick with vitamin D. It, everyone still does seem to, to recommend it. I've also taken vitamin B12 uh, for a while now. Not regularly anymore. I, I was taking it regularly at first because, uh, again, when I was more able, because I did find it to be helpful uh, with my energy and, and walking ability and, uh, and things like that. It, it definitely, though, still gives me uh, an energy boost. Um, you know, it's, uh, I don't take it every day, though, because the last few rounds of blood tests have all shown I had an elevated B12 level, um, which I guess my B12 levels are, are fine, so I'm not deficient there. Um, but uh, you know, now I just do take it if I do feel I need some extra energy, as you know, uh, uh, Red Bull, for example, has a massive amount of B12 in it. It's part of what what gives you wings, and uh, it's it is better to take a B12 pill than a Red Bull with all uh, sugar and caffeine. So. Um, I take I take about B12 and B12 shots uh, occasionally too. Other meds that have come and gone in my in my regimen, um, you know things like biotin and Nervive that say so they help might may help with myelin production. You know they haven't really done much for me. Um, you know when I was walking with a cane was when I was taking biotin regularly, and I feel it was making me more stiff actually. So um, it didn't really help me at all there um was it really i i don't know i did feel feel it though so um yeah no more biotin nervive didn't have any effect on me so um and in my ability so i i've i've cut those out so now for maybe about a month i have been taking a daily gummy multivitamin um, a probiotic and magnesium um, the uh, probiotic is you know probiotics there's been a lot of research of that coming out too there was an interesting study i think from harvard or something um yeah brigham and woman hospital that it they think they're getting closer to being able to tailor probiotics for people um and they definitely do have a good effect on a lot in your in your gut and um, my doctors have uh, spoken for years about the benefits of taking a probiotic with ms is they uh, thinks it thinks it starts in the gut um, and gut in your gut biome is so that's a big effect. Uh, the daily multivitamin um, I started taking. Uh, I've taken multivitamins off and on through the years, but some honestly I felt kind of uh, caused some inflammation, so I backed off. Um, but I found a good one at uh, just a, a basic Harris Theater. Um, uh, gummy multivitamin and I do feel like it's kind of just keeping me centered and, and adding some more um, vitamins to my, my diet in the morning so um, so I'm good with that um, but the real interesting one in my diet now is magnesium um, I think I saw a uh, Instagram video or read or something about the benefits of magnesium um, in your diet and I uh, was reading about magnesium and MS and how magnesium helps with nerve pain. And um, 
you know, I think it's helping me with my trigeminal neuralgia. Um, that's like, I, I think I said before, that's a whole another video, but uh, I'll, I'll come in a few weeks there, hopefully. But um, to summarize it, it's just been really bad over the last six months and um, over in the, like, the worst it's ever been. It's, you know, only grown. Um, but really in the hat, the last, since I've been taking the magnesium and the multivitamin for about a month now, since then it's definitely more controlled back to being a, a nuisance um, controlled state rather than uh, as intense as it has been. Um, you know, it's, uh, and they think magnesium, I think magnesium may be of help um, to nerve pain, as they said. With that said, like maybe it's a placebo effect. Maybe I, you know, really want it to, to work or, or something like that, but I have been feeling better since taking it, so I hope it is having a, a good effect. But yeah, that combo of a daily multivitamin, probiotic, and magnesium has me feeling pretty good uh, and centered um, right now, which is hard to maintain anyways during the dog days of summer, so I'm, I'm sticking with it. So that's that on that, um, on diet and supplements. Um, I hope this was you know, helpful for you to see if even in the sense that it's something everyone struggles with to find what really works for them. But I think the big takeaways here are, you know, it's, it's trial and error for sure. Um, also everything in moderation. Um, don't beat yourself up if you do fall off the, the, the walls protocol or, uh, or something like that. But, you know, just generally eat healthy. Think of food as fuel. Allow yourself a little, a little grace with, um, with occasional dessert or, or, or bad snack, but and it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, but you know, try to eat healthy um, and especially identify those inflammatories and cut those out as much as you can. Um, and inflammation is is bad for MS. Um, and again, yeah, with the diet, with the supplements. I'm sorry, um, it's trial and error, and I'm. I feel like I'm good with these three now. I don't take every supplement under under the sun. So, um, yeah, that's what I do. That's my story. And uh, I hope this was helpful. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.